tell uh, the reason we are renaming is uh, we, we might require to maybe give marks uh, on what you give, maybe your feedback and what you present, and maybe your name is not showing um, the, uh, your official name, the one we, you will use to maybe present yourself or the name you're using to represent yourself and your country. Um, so we will please uh, require you to rename yourselves. Uh, that's for the masks. Yeah. All right. A good afternoon to each one of you today. I hope you're well. Like I am super well. I'm super rested. It's good to see you. Gracious, beautiful face, Madam Precious. Good to see you, Rodrigo. I have seen you, and you are, we can tell you at a public place because you are masked. Karibu sana, Kenya. <laughs> Welcome so much. Quite a lot of um, uh, recruiting. There are few people who did not uh, get a chance to see our walls. Remember, our walls are Helen Mtawali, Oi. Helen Akos Mtawali. Africa Online Vocalist, and Jay Rodriguez. So if you do not get any notice from there, or you somehow floated, we decided let's put also our notices on our WhatsApp. Kindly be each other's keeper. There are people who still don't know how to operate all these things online, and therefore be each other's keeper. If you are lost, please just tell us on our wall and we'll find somebody, or somebody will find out how to help you. Do not keep quiet. Notice that we have people who have different timelines, and that's why we operated almost all night yesterday. Remember, this is a different kind of competition. We're going to operate 24-7. At least there's somebody who will be providing help 24-7 because of our time differences. Amani Aje, John Rodrigo, Rodriguez. CC took a different, we're going to operate 24-7. I realize that's very important yeah. because the people who are signing in from Canada, the people who are signing in from Nigeria, people signing in from Qatar. Um, responsibility like for um, our our judges, our mini junior judges, one of the things they must do is to always inform us of what's happening next. Okay, so um, um, find out, Joy Maria, you have a list of the contestants or people who must show in our classes, our sessions. Please ensure that everybody shows. If they don't have a reason for showing, then we better know that as well, so we do not penalize them. Unfortunately, we have to lose somebody today. We have to lose someone. Every competition, when um, you have competitions like this, sometimes elimination happens or some people eliminate themselves. And this could be because of reasons not known. Sometimes they are unavoidable. And we do not want to force you. This is a competition you brought yourself in and we hope that there will be maximum cooperation until the end. One of the reasons why I chose to do this is like I told you, some of you watched the semi-finals of Katie and I Can Sing. The people who sang some of the renowned songs, pop songs, were unfortunately muted. That also depends on whether KTN paid loyalties to the main people who sang the song. These days, people are very strict with what we call intellectual property. It is their intellectual property. If somebody has to sing their song either with permission or if no permission, you pay royalties. And this, if not done, then you can actually experience what we call muting. On Facebook, it's there. If you want to sing somebody else's song, there's always a disclaimer that people write. You've seen that, right? That people write, I do not own the rights of these songs, etc. Some people, if you write that, then Facebook will not mute you. But if you, I mean, if you write that, Facebook will not mute you. If you don't write it, oh, sorry about it. You'll find actually your songs muted. Only the people who are able to listen to you on the spot will hear you when you're doing your live. But after that, anybody else who comes in will find your music muted. 
very important for this generation to know that anytime you want to do a cover, you must always, always recognize, give credit, or even say you don't know the right. Otherwise, it's muted. Jay Rodriguez, what happened is we went to semifinals of Katie and I Can Sing, and some of the contestants, actually, the music was muted. I think the reason why they were muted is because they were doing pop songs. And somehow there was no argument between um, new, no agreement between KTN and the people whose songs are sung. That's one of the dangers that we suffer now because Americans know their rights. Africans bado. That's, That's why true. somebody can kachua, kachua, and this music is not muted. If it is muted, that means that you needed consent from the owner of the song. Yeah, yeah, tough, tough world. Cool. Especially cool. now that with Corona, everybody is online. Therefore, they're checking out and they want their rights. They must be paid. So to avoid this, you got to go original. That's what I told us. Now, if we have competitions like this, let's start believing in us. Let's start loving us. We can do some African songs. One of the reasons why I titled this Africa Online Vocalist is because in Africa, Music is a process, which means Rodrigo will come up with a song. And if his song is good for me, it's not yet over. He has not finished writing his song. No, until Helen gets it, I can do it my own version. But the Muzungu, their songs are accurate, pretty accurate. And therefore, they want the originals to stay original. If you do something to it, that's why we call them covers. But it's safer in Africa than abroad. So that's why I started this, so that you can be proud of who you are. TCC Wachoy, as guys are not capitalistic, we love each other. We love community. And that is why when we do, do music making, If, if you do music making in Africa, you do music making and the song belongs to everyone and anyone can do anything on the music. Anyhow, that was just a by the way, just so you know. Let's talk about your assignments. Let's talk about your assignments. Very good. Maggie saying, I see that you have not joined with audio. Click on the icon that looks, okay, somebody's giving uh, Maggie audio, uh, advice. Let me tell you that Jay Rodriguez, the Druge's entertainment is here to help you out, to make you stand out. If you have a question, you see him online, kindly bother the guy. Joy Maria is one of the judges. Bother her. She's the one taking every note about you guys. Bother her. Precious girl, precious. If you have a problem and you feel you want to bully someone, go to Joy Maria. She will answer all your questions, okay? Even if it is midnight, wake her up. The other person that might be handy to you is Brian, and you've had him almost everywhere. Brian is the one who welcomes you when you come in. Brian is the one who shouts and probably follows you on your inbox to ask whether you have given an email or not. Kindly, 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 we are here to help you. Do not shy away. Whatever time it is, if we are awake, we will always give you the assistance you require. We will talk about rights later, Elizabeth, so don't you worry. We'll talk about before you're done with us, we will talk, you, talk to you about copyright and everything when you go to producers, because some of you are going to win awards where you will be working with producers and every producer has their own aim or you will talk about that. I believe in education and knowledge because knowledge is power. Um, and then some of you will make a name, some of you will make money, some of you will actually explore as much as possible. Do not Darau Precious looking at her and thinking she's a baby. No. The previous season, actually the very first season, two of my contestants, the first runner up and the second runner up were eight and nine year olds. Do not underestimate anyone who is in this forum. Egidia, congratulations girl. I love what you did yesterday. Look at you. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah? I actually could feel myself dancing with you there with those kids. That was brilliant. I didn't tell Ajidia to do something like what she did yesterday. Out of her head, she just thought, you know what, let me recruit these babies. Let's dance. You see that? Actually keeping her on time. It also makes her fit in the season. Allah, who said that you can't dance? Euralia, you can go all the way and dance. I told you, explore music, dance, drama. Your creative skills, some of you are artists. 
Even just by the way you hair, style your hair. Look at Christina Ziambo. You know, there are certain things. Aliamua tu ni matuta kubwa kubwa. You know, there are certain things that stand out and scream out of us creatively. Never ever is underestimate yourself. Look at what this lady did yesterday. Some of you are especially very good writers. I tell you, some of you came up with beautiful summaries. Summaries that I was like, what? Is that Catherine Wangare? You know? You summarize. Mutueko. Mutueko did summaries, you know, that I was wondering. Eh, nanele mfundisha ku summarize. That's what I'm talking about. That some of you could actually earn yourself jobs because of those little things you do from the different disciplines. Do not underestimate yourself. Anyhow, today we're talking about vocal techniques. Vocal techniques is what makes you different from any other singer. We have singers, performers, but we also have vocalists. Now, from now on, consider yourself vocalists because I want to hear your voice. How do you express yourself with your voice? We're going to do that. So, by learning techniques. Vocal technique number one, repeat. Vocal technique number one, repeat. This is technically Africa. Africans, we are known for repeat. How did we used to send messages from one place to the other? Repeat, and we make it short, sweet, telegraphic. Then you can actually repeat to yourself until you get to the destination and deliver the message, having repeated it. That's why in Africa, we love repeat. We repeat and repeat. Once we're done repeating, we repeat again, non-apologetically. Why? Because in our lives, when you repeat, it fosters memory. What can you repeat? You can repeat a word, repeat a letter, repeat a phrase. And if you're repeating a letter, you can repeat a vowel or repeat a consonant. So I'm going to sing for you or sing to you or sing with you a song where there is repeat technique. Naturally, when we're singing, oh, happy day, oh, happy day, oh, happy day, oh, happy day. What have I said? Oh, happy day, three or four times. That's repeat. And I'm repeating what? A phrase. Okay. Do me a favor like Ijida is doing. If you understand, just give me an odd. Then I know, okay, you didn't lose me. Okay, so I bend. Kama umelewa unaitika na nod like that, yeah, precious. Because you are the people who I can see on my face. Kama you are lewa, just show me, repeat with a nod. Eh? <laughs> so, that's technically repeating a phrase. The person who sang that song, I think, was just an African-American with African blood inside them. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. So what? Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Four times. Oh, happy, happy day. Oh, happy day. Then the next thing, when Jesus washed, when Jesus washed, they're still repeating, you know. Those are phrases repeated. But this song can change its dynamics if you now repeat a word. When Jesus washed, he washed my sins, my sins away, 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 away. He washed my sins away. It changed. Because you're repeating now a word. You can also repeat a letter. And the letter can be a vowel in the song or outside the song. It could be a consonant in the song or outside the song. This is how you do it. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy, happy, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, 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 happy day. Eh, 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 eh. When G G G Jesus was, when G G G G Jesus was, he was my sins away. Oh 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 oh, oh happy, happy day. Don't you think the song sounds better and lovelier? I can see from your smiles. Yes, that's repeat, and this is what I want you to do. From here, you're going to sing, not necessarily now, but you're going to sing whichever song you think is boring using that repeat technique in your head, in your mind as you walk. But remember, repeat the phrase, 
if you want to. You can repeat a word or repeat a letter. And the letter could be a vowel in the song or outside the song, a consonant in the song or outside the song. Now, let's talk about the consonant outside the song. Consonants are like B, K, D, H, J, K, L, M, N, H, J. You know, look, those ones that really don't sound like the way vowels sound out. Really, really hard, but it actually is beautiful if you do it intentionally. I'll take, I'll take one of the most boring songs. And, 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 and um, my dad used to not like a song, and then I think I took it and then decided to just change it by adding some uh, consonants in there. Somebody's saying my volume is low. Eh? Let me see if I can add my volume. Hmm. Okay. Can you hear me better now? Can you hear me better? Christine? Tina? Nimeongeza volume. Can you feel? Can you hear me better now? Maybe it is the kind of earphones I'm using. Okay. So, let's talk about this song. Um, that my dad, there is a hymn my dad used to really, really love. And, and this is how it goes. It's not a hymn. Uh, yeah, I think. Let me just pick the hymn. I didn't, I didn't use it. it. <clears throat> if you're an Anglican, you would know that song. So I used to, I took a reggae beat and go, now whatever those are um actually technically related to the next technique and the next technique is vocables so you can actually build vocables from consonants in your song, those that exist and consonant that exists in that song, usi u kate buana, usi u kate buana. That's a consonant. You can go kate buana, oso b b b b b b re tu ne ka u p p p p palili e u p p p pate za a z z z z z z. You know, like that. You can actually create. Okay, that's in the song, consonants in the song. Outside the song, that's not existing in the song. So you can borrow consonants from nowhere and pinch into your song to create a difference in that song. Okay. Are we together? Are we together? Bona watu andiki. Brian, people are not talking to me. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. This is the again. Excellent. Our next technique, that is repeat technique. Make sure you utilize it to the best of your abilities. The other obvious one that everyone here pretty much has is what we call um, oh, no, no, we said the second one is vocables, words that mean nothing. Togues are togues. <laughs> David Mwangi of language, I don't know what it is, yeah? To are together, okay, super. So, vocables are words that mean nothing, words that mean nothing. And David is good at this, you know? Words that mean nothing, like, oh, pra, pa, pe, pe, pra, la, 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 wo, I. Wo, I. Wo, I means nothing, but you use it to decorate. You can also build vocables from words of the song. 
Amazing grace, how sweet that sound. You can go, yo 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 zing grace, how sweet oh papa yo, sweet oh papa yo, sweet ti 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 sweet yo, sweet that sound that make ambo popro po make ambo popro ko make kako kaka make kako me I'll wretch like me oh me oh me oh me oh oh yeah. It's India. You think when people say ram pa 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 ram pa 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 ram pa pa pa, it means nothing. And they're putting it in the song and everybody's singing it. Those words are called vocables. So when you hear Saben getting the guitar and they go, then you start singing, you think it's speaking in tongues. Actually, speaking in tongues is vocable. That's exactly what Paul Norton, Paul Norton, Paul Morton does that all the time, okay? So when you see, um, when, there's, when these people doing vocables in the song, technically, the reason why they're doing this is to get you lost, vocables. Thank you very much, Byre, for spelling it well. V-O-C-A-B-L-E-S. Okay. Iyamu. Iyamu. Why are you saying that network is not good though? I can hear myself. When I hear myself, network do get get good, good for, for me. Eh? Sorry about that. Wonderful. Vocables. V, v O C A B E P L E S. Okay. Now, when we choose to do vocables, remember, Eric Wainana is one guy renowned here in Kenya who does vocables to write songs. Saben, this is free information for you. That you can actually use words that mean nothing to come up with a tune. So he goes, Fimbola miso, tamo ine, lango tamdambo, malimbi taye. Those words mean nothing. It's not even a language. But he has taken out the tune. Pa -ra 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 -ra. And he's able to progressively increase and make that song become a full song. After doing vocables, then he now looks for words and puts them in. So you can use vocables to write, to create a tune that you want memorable. Some people find it easy to to, to come up with vocables. Like those who sing in tongues, they do it in tongues and later on, probably those songs that are in tongues become real songs because they wrote them from their spirit. When you do vocables, you actually communicate not to your mind, but you communicate to your spirit. Try it. Try it. And that's why people who are Christians speak in tongues because it's only the spirit that feels. Many times when you're in deep spirit, what actually speaks out is your spirit. And sometimes what comes from your spirit cannot be comprehensive, comprehended by your mind. Okay. So maybe you need to take, to make use of that. That's why Nigerians go, Listen to this. Uh, what is the name of this, this man? Eh? His name be Prosper. But why do you think he starts in tongues and then later on bursts out into song? One of the reasons is pretty much that he wants to communicate to the spirit. Euralia, you write songs in the spirit as well. As you write them, you, you communicate from the spirit. There's a lady called also um, Chosen. Chosen also. Chosen. Let's see. Chosen Lily from South. Actually, she lives in South Africa, but she's South Sudanese. Yeah? She uses tongues to communicate. And most people who do that actually find themselves crying. You cry. Have you ever cried and you don't know why you're crying? Because of sweetness. Maybe of something your mind has thought about. Musicians are powerful. Musicians communicate to the spirit. Musicians communicate to the mind. You communicate to the body. That's why when you start singing, eventually people dance without you telling them to dance. Look at... Some of those songs you listen to today, if you came here and listened to the semifinals, if you did my song, I didn't ask anybody to dance. 
But because we communicate to the spirit, somebody wakes up and just screams. Look at when I did the next technique. It's called instrument pillar, where you actually vocal play. You play an instrument with your mouth. You play the drums with your mouth. Somebody actually gets the beat. That's why beatboxes exist. Yeah? I'm actually using my mouth to play an instrument. It could be a trumpet, and depends on how I actually bring it out. Yeah? It could be a saxophone or a trumpet. That's what I'm saying, musicians. There's something we touch that not a mathematician could. Neither a Rastafari, oh sorry, no, neither a geographian can be able to touch that part of the human being. What I'm trying to say is go out of your way. Start using technique to make you a vocalist. We talked about repeat, talked about vocables. Now, what I've talked about is instrument pillar. Ability to use your mouth to imitate an instrument. So here's your homework, guys. Watch Naturally 7. They are the best in the world who know how to display instruments using their mouths. So Naturally 7. Naturally 7. Okay, that's a team. This is how you write it. If you want, you can also listen to Pentatonic, but Pentatonic has just a big box up. See how they use their vocals to display some of the things we're talking about here, okay? Yes, I did it with my mouth, Irelia. You, you know, you told me that if I, use, if I put my video on, then you're going to, the, the, you will not be able to hear me. That's why my video is off. Otherwise, you would have seen or If you actually watched the semi-finals that I put out on the WhatsApp, you should have seen me do that. And actually I did a duet with the saxophonist. So the saxophonist were playing and then I play with my mouth. But that came out as a money note. Money note means anything you do with your voice that will cause people to just go, yeah! And those only come from the techniques that I have taught you, okay? Repeat. We talked about repeat. What else did you talk about? Guys, I've mentioned three, four techniques. What are they? What are the techniques? Kindly write them down. For the sake of those who have come late or those who didn't follow us. Yes, I said repeat. What else? Because I stopped at repeat typing. Vocables, good. Yes. Repeat, vocables. What else? Instrument pillar. Thank you very much, Shem. Wow. Shem, you should be the one teaching this now. <laughs> somebody wrote, I know, I knew somebody was going to write consonants. <laughs> the consonants is not a technique. It's repeat, vocables, instrument, pella. <laughs> Super. All right. The next technique is vibrato. Everybody here might be vibrating their voice. As you earlier, she has a way of vibrating her voice. Egidia has a way of vibrating her voice. Kiriro has her way of vibrating her voice. Precious also, you know. Ben, if Ben starts, and maybe um, my brother from Niger Land, or even the other one. Yes, thank you very much. I was wondering what's happening. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, you can play it for us because you're the host. <laughs> Go ahead and play, Rodrigo. Thank you. You have given me a warning, eh? <laughs> oh, Rodrigo. And anyways, Angus has in Guinea. Okay, Rod. Thank you. Um, can can you hear the? Can you hear it? Can you hear it, Ejidia? Okay, now we can a little. Now he's using his voice to play both. I don't know, Rodrigo. There's a way we can't hear. I don't know why. Let me fix it. Let me fix it, and then when I'm done, I'll show you. Okay, thank you very much. We can actually do that probably at the end. I'll give you like 15 minutes to play some of those. Thank you very much. 
So that's sure, no instrument. That's a, yeah, that's a group renowned for instrument fella. Thank you, Rodrigo, for helping out. Okay, vibrato. Everybody uses vibrato when you wiggle your voice. Euralia's style of vi doing vibrato is way different from my style of doing vibrato. Now, I need you to note down vibrato and tremolo. Okay, write down vibrato, then the next technique, tremolo. These are related. Sorry, Mbaye, sorry. Yeah, these are related. Vibrato is when you wiggle your voice at the end of a phrase. It was happy and delightful. One meets summer small. When the fields and the meadows, they were covered in corn. And the blackbirds are trashes. At the end, shares sung on every green tree. And the lark they sang melodious at the dawn of the day. And the lark they sang melodious. And the lark they sang melodious. And the lark they sang melodious at the dawn of the day. At the end. But tremolo is when you actually wiggle your voice on every part of the world. Okay, so it was happy and delightful. Think of opera singers. One meets the most moon when the fields and the meadows. The tremolo. People who sing like that, actually, you can't disqualify them. I don't know how to sing. They do. Except they use tremolo after every, I mean, every word of it they say, or like a tieno. That's tremolo. But for her, actually, it comes because she shakes her body. If you shake your body, those of you who are looking for tremolo, shake your body like that and you will go, come <laughs> Not a demo, it's called tre. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tremolo. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's my name. Omolo is my name. Please don't write the Omolo. <laughs> it's called Tremolo. Tremolo. Okay. That is when you sing like a classical singer. Okay. Classical singers, we do Tremolo. Next is Staccato. Staccato. S T A C C A T O. Staccato, when you chop, 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 chop. You want to sing, oh Moses, way back there in the wilderness. You chop, chop your, you know, your words. So some smoke, and the bush was burning. God say, take off your shoes, Moses. You're on holy ground, Moses. I just need to be my man, Moses. Way back in Egypt, land. Moses. I just need to work for me, Moses. Way back in Egypt, land. Moses, Moses, ah, 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 ah. That's staccato. Una kata kata. You're cutting, cutting. Staccato. Okay, some people have used that very, very well in their music making. It just makes your song stand out. Some, sometimes they do sections, sometimes they do the whole song. Yeah? Yes. Like MJ used staccato a lot of times. Thank you very much, Saben, for mentioning that staccato is one way that you can actually stand out. You can make sections stand out in your singing or in your song. Okay? The next one, Rodrigo, kindly find out. Rodrigo, is Rod there? Rod? Yes, yes, yes. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Kindly go onto your YouTube and then also align this for me. Align yodeling. Yodeling. Okay. Yodel. Y O D D L. Yeah. And find any, any of the little kids who can yodel well. Now, yodeling is pretty hard to do. Yodeling. You, you actually had a song when you were growing up going, actually, ability to get your chest and your head voice flip. So, Maasai do that title, yodeling, except like for Maasai, it's called the Maasai or Ostinato, you know, it's a certain rich sound that you do by flipping your voice, okay? 
The little version of a yodel is called a lilt. So write a yodel as a technique. Then the next one is a lilt. L-I-L-T. Lilt. Most people like to use lilt. Masi Masika uses a lilt. Wendo waku, wendo, that's wendo. Like your voice is actually breaking. Wendo waku, you know. Some people use that. So that's a lilt. If it comes out. Dolly Parton also uses a lilt. Okay. All right, so um, that's one thing that you need to find out. Lilt and the yodel, they are related. A small version of a yodel is a lilt. Okay. Yodels are not easy to come. Probably when Rodrigo finds that, he will play that for us. Yodel. Now I need to go to the next one. The next technique is We call that chest voice. Now, some of these things you can notice from people's speech. Write this down. Chest voice, nasal voice, nasal, N-A. Yeah, yeah, nasal technique, nasal, nasal. That's one of the chest voice, nasal technique and head voice. You always hear people say that all the time and you don't know what it is. Most women use their head voice because that's where you find the sound coming, like you're pulling somebody's head or hair up. Sopranos sing head voice. Um, mezzo altos, no, is it mezzo? Soprano two also sing, sometimes using head voice. It's the high range, okay? La, 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 la. That's head voice. When men sing like a woman or they're using their head voice, you don't say head voice. For men, that now becomes falsetto. Okay? We call that falsetto. Now, let me tell you the difference between all this. If you are using your head, actually, chest voice. Yeah, chest voice is when you sing. And use your stomach muscles. I don't know why they call it chest and they tend to use your stomach muscles. When you're shouting or you're, you know, singing, using muscles from your stomach, you feel like you're doing, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Yes, oh, you melon, water. That is chest voice. It's different from, yes, oh, you melon, water. That is head voice. And if you hear a man singing with a chest voice, that you do not say the man used a head voice. You say the man changed into falsetto. Okay? So they use their low range and quickly run to the high range. You say you used the falsetto if it was a man if it is a woman you say they used head voice yeah yes well a man juve did that sing um juve is a bass range he's a low very very low range yes and if he uses it very well that you can say he's using his stomach muscles and that's chest voice okay most men some men who are very good singers tend to use falsetto a lot i think even brian uses falsetto have you listened to taja Neville Taja from Cameroon, I think he also uses very good falsetto. Rodriguez is a bass, but he yes. can, you know, falsetto. He can actually go way, way up there. Okay. Oh, I've just seen somebody and then I thought I need to make sure. Ah. At the end, I think I'll mention, I'll mention something. Remind me, Rodrigo, to mention something. I started mentioning it to mention it well so i'm gonna repeat it again at the end okay who's this taking notes for us this is a brilliant person who's that oh my goodness that is catherine kiriro roy kindly give catherine kiriro 20 marks she's a good steward give catherine kiriro 20 marks she's actually very attentive thank you very much joy joy are you there joy brian take note Yes, 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 I have. 
All right, thank you. All right, then. So, like I said, if you hear somebody singing, So kinga ina komituna, Elo konini boye bapasi na bapasi, Utama, utama, minyoko. And there's no one else in the stage know that they're actually helping us experience a low range and a high range. That's another term, okay? So we talked about falsetto for a man, but if they are able to make you feel the lowest range and also feel the highest, we say that person is displaying their vocal range. So range becomes another technique, okay? Some of these are intertwined, but the more you bring them out, the better, okay? So that is range, vocal range coming out. We say that is someone's vocal range. If they're able to display their it was happy and delightful. When the fees and the meters, they will go way up. You're able to hear their range. We say they're displaying vocal range. All right. Nasal. Nasal happens to only to those people who live in oriental sections. Like Hindus. You cannot tell a Hindu to sing like a Muzungu. The Indians, Hindu people, technically because of the culture, is nasal. It's like they have actually closed their noses. It's like they're closing their nose. Sound actually resonates up in their nose. Even the way they ornament their music is very different. <laughs> yeah, that's nasal singing, okay? Same happens to the people at the coast. No sababu basi akina fans la sisi tonga kama pua basi haya. Tadio wa untarari ra untarari ri basi toka pua ni au vipi uralia ndi wa vivo sasa sasa kama tarari. Kimba hicho kiswahili basi takiski amana kitwa tumia pua au vipi fans la fans la sema kweli sisi mi kweli kweli rongo kweli rongo. Abisa basi wajue basi ndo hiyo manake basi bakisikia tu kimba sisi wa Kiswahili twaimba kwa kuwa na tuambie sisi singi sing english in what hatuwezi sisi so the devil go hatuwezi <laughs> even the way fazla is talking you can actually tell you basi ndio kweli basi haya that's how swahili is supposed to be spoken <laughs> cuz those guys i think they what were oriental lugo you know <laughs> Even the way they do their runs, very different. That's called nasal. Cambas apparently joined them. Cambas join them. That is why we also speak with the nose. You can hear us and no ears. Can you hear us well? Ear hands, ear. Are you hearing us? <laughs> they have no H's, you know? Prisians, are you hearing me or not hearing me? Jeans. Saitani na lundwa kulundwa musumbi yesu andangasa. Anengwengite alundwa kulundwa. <laughs> if you actually go to some sections in West Africa, you will find those sections where people have, I mean, it has been invaded by Muslim culture. They also use the same technique. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shem Maiga. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Nanya Shanga Gawa Mimi. I do, yes, I, I do hearing. Yeah, I do. Kambas also got very nasal, okay? Some places in West Africa as well. Thank you so much, uh, Sir Ben, yeah? 
So some, some places in West Africa, they do that. I don't know whether um, uh, Iyamu is here. Iyamu, Iyamu, are you in class or you decided to work to kill you? And she has network issues. Go outside. Even the way I'm seeing this one. We have network issues. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. Thank you very much. May I tell you that even Nigerians speak using Nazar. That's why when we're talking like that, you can even hear yeah, us swallow our own words. We are swallowing our words because the words coming out are coming out nasally. So when you're telling me to see like Ohibo, is that okay? Are you correct? Is your head correct? Eh? You're telling me to start singing like uh, Ohibo. Ohibo and Amzungu. We call them Muzungu. Ask people from West Africa, we call them Ohibo. That forced me to start singing like Ohibo. Make I just sing like our own people. Eh? That's why Afro cinema begins shortly. And it's plenty all over your own camera, plenty all over your own television. If you want, you can watch Oibo. If you want, you can watch us. Are you understanding me? Mm -hmm. Nine. I'm even holding my own ear. Are you understanding me well, well, Lou? Yeah. Now, for inside, we even speak using effects. We have effects. <laughs> God, but what? Those are the people we call nasal speaker. Now, the people who also speak. <laughs> I love you. Thank you very much. I love you too, Ajidia. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is God love by force by fire. I'm getting it by force. I'm receiving the love. Oh, <laughs> ah, oh yes. So well. Yeah. So now the Kikui people, now that our people entered the Kikui land, we sing what we call open voice. Tafanari sikia on the eh. But then, no, Rakino Sisi Kirizo Sauti Tafadari. Bakwari, Mutu Ashi Ajua, Nakota Jua Tiwe, Hallelujah. That's called open singing. Kaya Mige, Diri Mige, Kumada, Kameri Gazi, Kaya Mige, Diri Mige, Kumada. <laughs> and we actually say that we touch we touch notes that are not there in the keyboard. <laughs> we touch notes that are not there. Yeah. And we actually get to the highest keys, yes. That's called open voice. <laughs> open voice singing. <laughs> yes, listen to the words and not to the voice. That's open singing. And open singing, let me tell you, is not a mistake. It depends on who's singing it, who is, and how you're actually delivering that. If you sang a Kikuyu song openly, I would be very happy. So that's why I want you to go all the way. Yeah, don't tell our Gidomo to come and start singing Kikuyu like English. No. That's impossible. Yeah. Is that Kikuyu? No. But I want to sing. That's the Kikuyu in it, man. Very open. Sing as open as you can. All right. Then the other one is open voice. Can you sing that? Network Carolyn Baraka Nimbaya. It looks like people are going to eh what a itabidi wa mechukua nene. What is it called? This this bundle that you actually buy unlimited. Yeah. Bye. That's okay. 
we will consider other ways of actually providing lessons for those people who are not able to understand us. And I think Rodrigo is recording this. So because they're recording this, yes. you can go later yes, on and download this. Yeah, you can actually listen to it as like you're watching YouTube. So that's fine. Okay. Please also you put the link on the on the group so that um, other people can be able to access it like almost immediately. Thank you very much, Rod. Okay. And time is flying. Imagine I can stop at that. We're gonna probably do another speed run. We will give ourselves this week to learn pretty much what we require to learn technique so that your music and your vocal singing is actually um, uh, enriched, okay? So Rodrigo, I think you were supposed to play some, some music for us. Are you ready for us now? Rod, are you ready? I feel like I can actually teach you the whole day, but unfortunately we only have let one me, hour. Let me try and get it right now. So okay. I'll, I'll just play it and then if you can, if you guys can hear, you'll tell me. Okay. Okay. All right. As he's going on through that, then the other the other technique is dramatic. Write it down. Dramatic, dramatic technique. Dramatic voice. These are voice full of drama. You can actually dramatize, and people can actually feel you dramatize stuff within your voice. Okay. Yeah. This old man went running home. This old man, he played nine. He played a knick knacker on my shoe. With a knick knack, party walk. Give a dog a bone, give a dog a bone, give a dog a bone. Can you give the dog a bone? Old man went rolling, 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 and and Trevor Noah has a dramatic voice because you can actually tell. You can actually tell. Trevor Noah, you know, Trevor Noah imitating different people at the same time. It's him, but he's actually coming like I could, I could. We're going to talk about Jacob Zuma. So we're going to talk about Jacob Zuma. Mmm, it's Jacob Zuma. And Kidogo, he's President Trump. Kidogo, he's another person. You know, like that. That's a dramatic voice that you can be able to be different placements at the same time without confusing your head because if you're playing an indian and then also playing somebody sober you can actually tell watch out trevor noah's um trevor noah's comedies you'll actually tell that the guy has a different mind apart from yours like he can actually his mind can tell him that he's now the president and his mind can tell him no you are an aborigine so behave like an aborigine. No, he said, no, 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 you are a Spaniard. No, 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 you are a German. Actually, he bring all those interchangeably with you feeling the dif different, um, uh, different, uh, what's that, tone qualities that are expected, okay? You ready now? Are you ready, Rod? Uh, okay. I should be. <laughs> can you guys hear? Yeah. 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 Yes. Rodrigo, you can actually, you can mute it. 
mute it so that they can actually go and watch it. You can send the link probably on our WhatsApp group so that everybody else gets to see it one-on-one. -on -one. Cause I think if they play it from their YouTube, they're able to get every detail of what's happening. So he plays a drum, somebody plays a bass guitar, somebody with their mouths and you can be able to enjoy that. Now, I don't know whether you can be able to get the, 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 the yodeling one. Can you get the yodeling one? Yes, yes I can. Let me see if I can get it. Um, I'm sending the right now. Actually, Actually it's yeah. here. Let me see if, see I, if I can share it. my screen. Yeah, so I can actually be able to see who's there and then also eventually you send them the link and they can be able to see that. Yeah. I think this girl sings very well. Title is Awesome Yodeling, 12 year old. Or even if you just go yodeling, you'll see different versions of yodeling. Or all right, even that one, yeah, Rodrigo. Even Sorry. that one, you can, yeah, you can actually give them so that they can be able to to listen. Send the link. So they can be able to listen late. Right. Nice. Sending you now. Okay. All right. Listen to those ones as part of your homework. I think I like already what I have observed you guys doing. All right. So what's the summary? What have we talked about today, kindly guys? What have we talked about today? Let me know whether you understand or not understand? Have you been able to understand anything or do you have anything take home? Yeah? All right, vocal techniques. Why do we use vocal techniques? Yeah, get, get the spellings right, Claire. It is V-O-C-A-B-L-E-S, vocables. Okay, wow, I love that. We use vocal techniques to marinate our singing. <laughs> choice of words, Rodrigo, here. Eh? The people who have beautiful word choice. Yeah, wonderful, Myri, to marinate our singing. Yeah, open singing. Yeah, always know. And then from now on, you can actually listen to different people sing and see whether they, you can be able to tell those techniques we have mentioned. We have up to 50 techniques. But I'll just give you some so that you can be functional. Dramatic voice, listen to Trevor Noah. Ah, that's another homework. Listen to Trevor Noah as much as you can. See how he's able to change his voice and placement to be able to achieve certain things. I told you like from drama, some of you will eventually become public speakers. You know that, you need the skill. Yeah? Men useful, say tone or head voice, good. Good job, Shemaiga. We need to be original. Yes. Yes. We use vocal techniques to beautify our voices. Vocal range. Good. <clears throat> Excellent. Once you've done that homework, also ensure that you make use of our wall. Try and be as creative as possible. I will not tell you what to do, Precious. By now, you should have thought of something that you have learned, come up with something for us to enjoy. Put it up on our WhatsApp group. If you want, put it out on our wall, etc. Meanwhile, I want to thank each one of you for having come today. Yesterday, you said I walked out like somebody who so can <laughs> So I'm warning you guys, time for class is over. Thank you very much for being here, Rodrigo. You're the best. Thank you so much. And my peers, my, uh, those guys who make this work, Joy and Brian, God bless you big time. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 The links are on WhatsApp. You guys can go to WhatsApp and you'll find the links of both uh, people there. Cool.